in the days of our beloved Prophet, in the early days of his mission, to call mankind to submission to none other than Al-Ahad, the one who created them all from none. Insults after insults, it's where he gained much, but only a little of followers he gained from such. The slaves, the poor, the needy was it some, but it was over the slaves, the poor, the needy, the truth was won. Till one day when our beloved Prophet was verbally insulted by a man named Abu Jahl. Any insult to our beloved Prophet would make our hearts sore. But this time Abu Jahl verbally abused him like never before. The Prophet did nothing but stay silent and walked away as he did to the other insults he received every other day. Then from afar, a man on a horse, a hunter, a warrior came and heard from the women of Banu Hashim that his nephew was shamed. His blood was boiling in rage, letting his anger overflow as he marched towards the Kaaba to Abu Jahl and whacked him across his face with his bow saying, How dare you curse my own nephew while I too am a follower of his religion. Then he returned home surprised at what he said. He was confused if this was the truth or not, so the only thing he could do was to pray in his heart saying, Oh Allah, you know that I am one of the leaders of Quraysh, and now I had said something that I do not know, I cannot take it back, it's too embarrassing to take back. So if this matter is true, then cause my heart to be guided, and if it's not true, then cause me to die right now. So he spent the night confused, contemplating and thinking if this was true. The next morning, he went to our beloved Prophet Muhammad and told him what he did yesterday. Then Prophet Muhammad وسلم, explained Islam to him, where after he says, I testify that you are a truthful person and that you are speaking the truth and I will never return to the old ways of my forefathers. So who was this man who accidentally claimed he followed Muhammad, where in the night his mind was exploding in thought? The man that after everything has been explained and the truth was correctly taught, he believed and promised to never go back to the old ways. So who was this man? This man was no other than Hamza radiallahu anhu.